Welcome back. Next, let's take a look at AWS organizations. So in order to do so, just navigate to your dashboard. So I'm going to go to services here. Of course, you must be logged in. And then from within the management and governance category, the first option or the first service is AWS organization. So let me go ahead and first click on this. This will take us to the AWS organization's dashboard. And under accounts tab, you will notice all of the different accounts that you have as far as AWS is concerned. Now you may only be having one account because if that's what you're using as a free tier account, but since we have multiple accounts, one for development, we have a production two, we have shared services, we have production, we have dev one actual pipeline, and of course our root account, which is signified with a star. This is our master account. So within the accounts tab, you will get a list of all of the accounts. There's also another tab called Organize Accounts. Now, before I get to Organize Accounts, if I were to, let's say, select the root account, which is Claydesk 198 at this point in time, on the right navigation pane, you'll notice the organizational units. Now, this means that the way this is organized is that within this particular root account, I may have sub-accounts, right? So if I were to expand organizational units, this will tell me that the prod one repo is another account or the organizational unit, right, as part of Claydesk 198. Likewise, if I were to navigate to a different account, for example, how about this support at claydesk.com, prod2, and click on OU, this is going to say that prod2 is part of the OU as well. But I'm going to find the dev account. Let's see if dev has any OUs. Perfect. So the development account does not have any organizational units within this account. So this account is currently in the root and not in any organizational unit, right? So if you have multiple accounts, if you're working for an enterprise company, for example, the enterprise organization, they may have, you know, 10, 50 or hundreds or even thousands of different accounts, right? Not thousands, but, you know, typically, you know, more than 10 or 20 accounts that I've dealt with in my own experience with enterprise companies. And the way they work is, they have organized themselves into different departments or tiers or offices spread across the globe. So this is how you can manage your AWS accounts within AWS organizations. And then there's a tab called Organize Accounts. I'm going to go on this tab. And here you can see a tree structure, right? So from the root, you'll notice there's Prod2. I can expand Prod2. This will give me the hierarchy. Similarly, Prod1 dash repo will give me the hierarchy itself and then dev1 pipeline will also give me the tree structure and that way i notice i have about three organizational units here prod2 prod1 repo and then of course the development one pipeline and then there are three accounts development shared services and production so you notice how easy it is if you have a large organization you can easily visually see the tree structure of your accounts now, policies, of course, there are SCPs that we talked about earlier, service or in the previous lectures, service control policies. They simply offer central control over the maximum available permissions for all accounts in your organization. And the result, of course, is just to make sure that your accounts stay within the control guideline. And then, of course, you also have the tag policies as well, which simply help you standardize tags on all the resources across your organizations. And tags, by the way, if you have worked with them, these are, you know, they work pretty well because if you are comfortable tagging your, uh, let's say resources and your services, right, everything that you use within AWS, it's much easier to manage, right? All right, so this is the AWS organizations. Now we can invite or click on invitations on the right side. You can invite an account. In other words, if it's a new AWS account within the organization, you can click on invite account and this is going to bring you to this screen where you can enter the email or the account ID and then invite. And that's going to send an email out to that person, the account owner, to join your organization. If you don't have an account existing, then you can of course create a new account as well. All right, and then the last option, of course, I wanna quickly demonstrate are the settings. If you click on settings, you can take a look at the organizational details and then you can delete the organization the trusted access for AWS services are disabled. 
artifact is enabled. We talked about this in the previous lecture also, and so on. So you get the idea as to the settings within the Adelbis organizations. So I hope this helps. Go ahead, practice with this. If you have any questions, post in the discussion area with this. Let's move to the next lesson.